Mechanical design and engineering requires careful planning and an analytical approach to developing new products. For assembly designing and layout, Solid Edge offers two basic ways, top-down design and bottom-up design. Bottom-up design refers to building individual components separately and then putting them together to build a final overall assembly. Top-down assembly modeling is an assembly-centric method which starts at the highest level possible with individual parts and sub-assemblies defined within the context of the overall assembly. To help you with planning top-down assemblies and make building assemblies faster and easier, Solid Edge provides a suite of commands and tools like virtual components, copy sketch, assembly-based features, assembly sketches, and finally, the most versatile feature, Create in Place. In this video, we'll show you how it works. The Create Part in Place command allows creation of new parts or sub-assemblies within the context of the assembly. Once started, it prompts to specify the location to save the new file. Simply type in a name and click Save. The new component is immediately added to the Pathfinder. There is an option on the Create in Place dialog to immediately take you to the component after creating it to begin to model geometry. The advantage is that you can create geometry by referencing the background components of the assembly to ensure proper fit and function. You can toggle the display of the overall assembly in the background by pressing Ctrl Q. When defining the location for the new part, we strategically selected a key point where we wish to begin the design. The Project to Sketch command helps in creating new 2D geometry by referencing elements from the existing components of the main assembly. You can also use the offset command to add more geometry without having to actually create new 2D entities explicitly. This gives you regions which you can select to produce 3D objects for the new part. Next, you can continue using regular 3D part editing commands, like adding rounds on the part still within the context of the assembly. Then create a thin wall to hollow out the cover cap. In this case, the bottom face needs to be selected as the face to remove. You can once again use the Control q key combination to quickly hide the main reference assembly out of your way and pick the face. Once the thin wall command has finished, pressing Control q gets the reference assembly back into view. Finally, you can close and return back to the main assembly where you began creating the part in place. This is a top-down assembly modeling approach in Solid Edge, which reduces the design cycle length and eliminates fit errors by taking better advantage of common part geometry.